A marriage is like a garden. In your life together, you will experience perfect moments along your journey. But like the seasons, they are not permanent, preserved only in your memory. The path you choose from this day forward is yours and yours alone. <laughs> Michelle and Christopher, shall we begin? Yes. Okay. Do Thank it. you. Michelle and Christopher, everyone here tonight is wishing you a happy and lasting life together. I ask that you always remember in your hearts the enduring virtues of marriage. First is faith, the unconditional belief in each other that through the good times and bad times, you both can always turn to one another for purpose and direction on this journey in life. I, Michelle Jean Graff, take this man, Christopher John Knight, to be my lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, for richer or poorer, to love and to cherish from this day forward until death do us part. I, Christopher John Knight, take this woman, Michelle Jean Graff, to be my lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, for richer or poorer, to love and to cherish, from this day forward, until death do us part. The second is patience and perseverance. Patience and perseverance. To persist firmly against trials and difficulties in life. To strive for the good no matter how difficult. And love, the most important virtue, although expressed in many ways. But I like to think of love as a feeling of deep, respect sprinkled with an abiding reverence for each other. With this ring, with this ring, I join my life to yours. I join my life to yours. To keep all of the promises of my vows. To keep all the promises of my vows. To love you for all that you are. To love you for all that you are. And all that you've been. And all that you've been. And all that you are yet to be. And all that you are yet to be. By the authority vested in me and the grace of God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Christopher, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Family and friends, it is my honor to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Knight. Most fathers of the bride, I didn't know where, what this situation was going to bring at the beginning. But I kind of learned that I wasn't really sure what my role in this whole thing was. Um, I took the comical route and just said, yeah, I'll write checks and have do whatever I'm told to do. And I started thinking about it. And I thought maybe my role was to witness what was happening. You know, be that person to witness it, pass it down. And then I thought, you know, all through Michelle's life, I participated. And it's really not the lessons you leave, it's the lessons you share. And you can't do that if you don't participate.
So, my hope is that everybody we invited and everybody who saw this today would take that same stake and participate in their lives as they go on. I know I will. I wish you all the best of luck. Michelle, you have been with me for every one of my major life events, from my first pony back in elementary school, <laughs> to my marriage and to the birth of my son. You have been an amazing friend to me over the last 23 years, and I'm so excited to see you enter this next chapter of your life with Chris. And Chris, I know you already know this, but you are marrying the smartest, most caring, loving, horse-obsessed girl I know. <laughs> You two are perfect for each other, and I'm so happy you found one another. I love you both, and I'm wishing you all the happiness in the world.